In this chapter, we're going to talk about creation and deletion. Now, this is just one of those extra chapters that I thought I would throw in just so that you guys would understand the, you know, the difference between the different ways of deleting and creating stuff. So let's start off with deletion. Now, there's two ways in Modo to delete stuff. There's backspace and there's delete. Now, there are differences to the way that they work. If I go ahead and just use the pen tool, and I'm just going to create a polygon, then I have this polygon here, and if I just select it and I press backspace, you'll notice that there is my vertices are left over. Now, generally, when you're deleting stuff and you have leftover vertices, that's bad news because usually vertices are not displayed. So if I go to here, visibility show vertices, you'll notice that oh, they're not there. So let me show them again. So what you would have to do is you would have to run some sort of cleanup script to clean up any leftover vertices. But if I had pressed delete instead, you'll notice that those vertices are now deleted. Well, what if I was in edge mode? Well, let me just create an edge between here and very quickly extend the geometry. Okay. And we have something like this. What if I wanted to just delete this edge here? So what if I press backspace on my keyboard? What you'll notice is that that edge got removed. Same thing with the vertex. It got removed, but this polygon is intact. Let me undo that by pressing Control Z. And I'm going to select the same edge, and I'm now I'm going to press Delete. But now what happens is that edge gets blown away, but so does so do the vertices that were connecting it, and therefore also the polygons that were right next to it. Now, if these polygons didn't exist here, and if I had just pressed uh, delete on this edge here, you'll notice that once again, the vertices stay, but this edge and the surrounding polygons are deleted. So everything that it touches pretty much gets deleted on both sides of the uh, edges. So of course, this is really important because if you have a model like this, you know, this wrench here, and you want to simplify perhaps this part in here, then what you could very easily do is you could just select those edges like that. I'm just right clicking and holding and then I could press backspace and now what you'll notice is that I have one big polygon that I can do whatever I want with. So if I want to rewire things this way, you know, if I wanted to, then I very well uh, could. Now that's just generally not how I want things to go. But what if I had selected these edges and I pressed delete? Well, now you'll notice that I have a big uh, hole in here and this is uh, no good. But sometimes you want that. Sometimes you just want to perhaps get a different stab at things and you know you might want to do something like this and that's perfectly fine. Now that's pretty much it for the deletion process. Vertices don't really have much in terms of um, you know subtlety. If I press backspace you'll notice this is what happens. If I press delete this is what happens. So there's really I don't see any differences really. There could be some more uh, nuances there. I, I don't know them so anyways. Now, what I should also mention is that uh, the creation process, uh, well, there's a few things to it too. So let's create a few polygons. I'm just going to delete this one here. And what I'm going to start off with is vertex, uh, vertices. So there's a number of ways to create polygons, one of which is by using vertices. So if I make a selection clockwise, so I'm going to select this one first, I'm going to press and hold shift, and I'm going to select the next clockwise vertices, and then I'm going to press the P hotkey to create a polygon. At the same time, you could go into the polygon button here and then press make. And that will make a polygon for you. Now, it's actually important to usually choose the auto button as you know, as you press the make button, because what that's going to do is if you just chose auto, it's going to determine what kind of surface is around this model so that it's going to make a proper kind of polygon in here. If you were working on pixel subdivisions or just regular subdivisions or uh, faces or etc., then you could specify whether I want it to be a P sub div. And you'll notice that it's got a different color because it's now, this is actually a separate uh, surface. So if you want to be specific, you could, but generally I choose auto because that's what you will use when you're modeling. So let's go get back to here. So that's basically how you work with vertices. Now I should also mention that if I delete that polygon and I try to 
go counterclockwise and I press make and actually I guess what I should have done is not change this to auto now in this version of moto it seems like it makes sure that the polygons face the proper way in older versions of moto what would happen is if you went counterclockwise it would create that polygon but it would face the normal will be facing the opposite way so this would actually remain invisible until you looked at the polygon from the other side and here it would be solid so what you would get in older versions of moto is something to the effect of this where you don't see anything but if you go under you get to see the polygon and you would have to invert it yourself so that is that that used to be an important thing in terms of if you went clockwise or counterclockwise let's delete another polygon and let's choose edge let's choose these four edges and let's press p you'll notice that the polygon gets made let's experiment a little bit more where i'm just going to select two edges and press p nothing happens select three edges press p nothing happens so you need to surround the entire polygon before it gets made generally though on the outline of a model like this if you have a hole you can double click on one edge and it will select the entire hole so you can just double click and then automatically just press p and you have a polygon very nice now it does sometimes you you'll have a little bit of a harder time though what if you have something like this and you want to fill it with one polygon let me just double click and press p well did the polygon get made or not it actually did get made which is very good so now you have one polygon that's obviously facing the wrong way so it didn't seem like anything happened but again if i try to zoom underneath you'll notice that the polygon is in fact there what i could do is i could just flip it by pressing f and i really need to select the polygon first so i press f and the polygon is in fact there now i had to flip it twice because the first time for some reason it didn't flip it so i flipped it twice and now it's facing the proper way and now if i wanted i could very easily split things exactly as i want now if you have a problem generating polygons like this if for some reason it didn't work then what i recommend for you guys to do is either use the bridge tool by selecting one and then a second edge and then using bridge so you can connect these polygons like that by just choosing two edges and then connecting between them then if you have a polygon like this you can easily just double click and press p or use the you know whatever hotkey you're using to make polygon and then same thing for here again select one edge select the second edge bridge and then here just create a polygon so there are many ways to creating polygons and deleting polygons and stuff like that. So that marks the end of this chapter. Uh, cheers.